Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a tutorial on this super smoked out brown glittery fall appropriate eye look. <laughs> I'm sure the title is going to be some combination of those kind of words. But for this look, we're using the Too Faced Stardust Palette by Vegas Nay. Again, I know I used this palette in a previous tutorial, but I wanted to do another look using this palette. Something that's more actually fall appropriate, you know what I mean? I said the other one was fall appropriate, which it is, of course. I mean, really, if you think about it, anything is fall appropriate. You can wear whatever you want in the fall, really. But I wanted to do something that was a little bit more smoky and a little bit more wearable. Of course, you know, take away the glitter and it's more wearable. <laughs> so anyways, if I could just stop talking now. <laughs> if you guys want to know how I got this look, then please just keep on watching. Okay guys, so my foundation, primer, and brows are done. And I did prime my eyes using the NARS Pro eyeshadow base, I think that's what it's called. So we're just going to move on to the eyeshadow and we're working out of the Too Faced Stardust palette by Vegas Nay. And I have to say, something that really bothers me about this palette is the lack of mirror. Like, did I really need this here? No, I didn't need that. I could have used a mirror. So we're going to take the color Millennial, which is the transition shade up top. And I feel like it's kind of uh, pink toned. And I'm taking this with a blending brush. This one is by BH Cosmetics, whatever blending brush will do. And I'm using the mirror in my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And I'm just going to pop this into the crease. I have a specific look in mind, but I'm not 100% positive like how I'm going to execute it. So we'll figure this out together. We're going to take the color Girls Night, which is this... Oh, where am I going? This shade right here. And I'm taking it with the Coastal Sense Blending Brush. You know the drill. And I'm just going to work this more directly into the crease, the way you guys always see me do. And then I'm just going to go back in with Millennial, which is that first transition shade that we use with the same brush that we use in the beginning and just blend a little bit more, even though they blend so well on their own. You know we still got to blend. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with one of the stars of the show, and this is the color Jackpot. It's right here. It's kind of like a cool tone brown shade but then it has a lot of gold in it so then it kind of makes it warm tone if you know what i'm saying i think you do so i'm just going to take it with a flat brush again this one is by bh cosmetics doesn't matter what flat brush you use and i'm just going to pop this all over the lid i said in my favorites video like i thought this would be the cutest look ever so we're doing the look that's what we're doing oh my god even nicer than i thought look at oh stop but can you, can you see the glitter? I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it? Could you, it's beautiful. Oh my god. Honestly, the shade is so beautiful and the gold glitter in it is really beautiful. But I feel like when you put it on the lid, you only get like three little pieces of glitter. And I feel like that's kind of weird to just have like three random pieces of glitter, if you know what I'm saying. So I don't know. Okay, so now that we've got our lid color on, we're going to kind of try to blend the lid color to our crease colors because it is kind of like a super stark line right there. So I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to grab the color Double Tap, which is it's on the bottom. I don't know why I just flipped that over. But it's on the bottom and it's just, kind of, it's just like a burgundy purple type of shade. It looks just like Max Sketch, honestly. So I'm just going to take this on a Morphe E17. It's kind of like a smaller crease brush. And I'm just going to pop that right in there and hope that it blends. <laughs> I 
And then to blend again, because you can never really blend too much, we're going to go back into Girls Night, which again is just like this rusty brown shade that we use with the Coastal Sense blending brush. And we're going to use it again with the Coastal Sense burning brush, blending brush, blending brush. And we're just going to blend that out a little bit more. I really am not liking right now how the lid is looking. It kind of just looks like a failed attempt, honestly. So I am currently thinking of what we're going to do to fix it. So here's our options. We could leave it like this and just pretend it's like a matte brown smoky eye or we could put glitter on top. I'm kind of leaning towards the glitter. Yeah, let's put some glitter on top. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. It's been a while since I put glitter on my lid anyway, so why not? So since we are going to go in with glitter, I'm just going to grab some Too Faced Shadow Insurance glitter glue and I'm just going to put it on my middle fingers. I always put it on my middle fingers. I know that's like so bad. I don't want you guys to think I'm like flicking you off or anything, but I just, I like the way my middle finger applies product. So we're just applying this right on top of that brown shade. I lied. Before we go in with glitter, I am going to go in with some black eyeshadow. Big surprise, big surprise. So I'm going to take the color Sin City, which is just the black, matte black on the bottom, and with the same Morphe E17, and I'm just going to put this right on that outer corner. Even though it's kind of like a smoky eye, you know, I just really can't stay away from black. I just, I literally, my body will not allow it. So, right on this outer corner. Should have done this before the glitter glue, but it's really, it's all good in the hood. Then again with the girls night shade on the brush, just blend out the edges of the black and the crease because it did kind of create a little bit of a harsh edge, which I mean it's never cute, but it's especially never cute for a smoky eye. Am I like, cr I'm like crouching, I'm going down. Like what? <laughs> what is wrong with me? No wonder my back always hurts. With the same brush that we used to apply the brown, I'm gonna take some Fix Plus and I'm just gonna spray it. So the glitter I'm going to be using for today is by Violet Voss and it just like went all over my fingers and this is called Marley and it's just like a deep brown shade. It kind of looks like it has a lot of red like undertones to it and it is just so stunning. I cannot wait to put this on my lid right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just dipped it right in there and I'm just going straight onto the eye. Oh my god. That is beautiful. And I did do my foundation already but I didn't do my concealer. So I'm not really so concerned with the fallout right now. Not really. So this is where I'm going to stop with the glitter just so that that black really does show through. And do you guys see like how much fallout I have right now? Like this is real life. So now I'm just going on the other eye. Hopefully this one does not do me dirty like the previous eye. Okay, so I definitely like this better than the other brown shade. I don't know, it was just not doing me right. But, I mean, I know this is not like an everyday fall smoky eye, you know. This is definitely something a little crazy. But maybe you go going clubbing in the fall. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, I, would, I mean, I would wear this, honestly. I would wear this anywhere. I would wear this, like, to work. I would wear this, like, down the street to the grocery store. But that's just me. <laughs> so the concealer I'm using today is by Laura Mercier. This is the high coverage concealer for under eye. Mine is in 1.5. And I feel like for an eye this intense, like a really bright highlight and like a super intense contour kind of works in your favor. But I mean, I feel like that for every look, honestly. So who knows? Who knows, really? So just going in with my like literally bitten up, like it's not bitten, like, but it's really just jacked up beauty blender because I literally can't stand throwing these away. It just like causes me a lot of pain. I'm just gonna blend out all of this concealer. Hopefully this concealer really does cover up this glitter, cause I'm not about it. Now that I look like Casper the Beat Face Ghost, we are going to set all of this. And I know you guys are like, bro. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. 
But I feel like once everything is done, you guys are gonna, you'll be okay. So I'm gonna take my Ben Nye banana, banana, banana powder and my Real Techniques blending sponge, just those like ideas. It's a little damp, not really too damp. Doesn't really matter. I don't really care if it's damp or not, honestly. And then I'm just gonna set everything. So just every single place that the concealer even touched your face. I have a piece of glitter in my eyebrow. That's gonna drive me crazy for the rest of my life. At this point, I usually like to move on to my lower lash line, but I honestly feel like way too pale right now. Like it's gonna bother me for the rest of my life. So I'm gonna take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Sun Power, and it's just like a super orangey bronze color. And I'm taking this brush by Morphe. It's from the Angel Marino collection. It's called the AC52. And I'm just gonna take this kind of like on the sides of the forehead and just warm up my life. And this is extremely warm. So if you are somebody who does not like warm tones, like if you guys think Give Me Sun is warm, like you don't even know. This is like warm. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that's what it is. So I just really like warm tones. Like around this area I feel like it's really flattering I don't know that could just be me you guys might like totally hate it but I think it's cute so I only put the bronzer bronzer up here so now I'm gonna contour because all of this is just it's too much for me right now I look like I have a mustache kind of do you see that it looks really weird anyway so I'm gonna take my Lorac Pro contour palette of course you guys know this is my life and I'm gonna take medium contour and I'm not taking the nurse eater brush today just because I'm really mad at it because it was shedding way too much the other day so I'm taking my little baby bare minerals angled face brush so I'm just gonna go ahead and contour with that of course I already missed my nurse eater brush <laughs> I mean I like this brush but Then I'm taking my blush. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop in Fig Pop. And this is just what it looks like. And it's kind of like a neutral, but like a darker neutral kind of shade. And I'm taking it with a Morphe E3 brush. My freaking husband. And <laughs> Oh my god, speaking of husband, I'm not even wearing my rings right now. Oh well. I'm still engaged, don't be worried. I really want to do a, um, a Q&A because I've seen a couple of you guys requesting one. But... I want to make sure that like, I'm going to have questions, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like if I post, like okay give me your questions, I'm going to get like three questions. The video is going to be like 45 seconds long, like I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to contour my nose using light contour right here. Oh my god I didn't even put highlight, no wonder I look like I have a mustache. I didn't put highlight on my uh, cupid's bow, I always do that, what's wrong with me? I never noticed what a big difference that makes, like over here is so dark. So, I just put a little bit of that concealer, aki, and then I'm just gonna put it on my cupid's bow. And that's okay that we. <laughs> I look so dumb. It's okay that we already like powdered because we didn't really powder here. So now I'm gonna contour my nose <laughs> 30 minutes later. I like to bring it in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my eyes because I don't want to put my highlight on until the end because I'm weird. So, so you already, mm, let me zoom you in again. So you already know what's going down with the Marc Jacobs highlighter. It's kind of a must. Let's just move on. Just popping this in the waterline. Sorry if you guys don't like black in the waterline and I do it like every single video. But I love black in the waterline. But of course you can substitute for something else, I just feel like with this kind of an eye, I just like it better with black than I would with like a nude color or like a brown. I'm gonna take this flat definer brush. This is the MAC 212. Sigma has one, just like it. I think it's the E15, I'm not 100% positive. And I'm about to take, what am I about to take? I'm gonna take the color Double Tap first, which is that sketch looking color. And I'm just going to kind of smudge out this eyeliner. I never can stay in frame for this. So let's just all pray to the Lord that I can stay in frame. It's literally the most difficult thing. I don't know. I don't really know why. 
Oh, I do want to tell you guys, I tried to vlog. And because a lot of you guys requested that too, like you wanted vlogs and you guys really wanted vlogs with Elver. Honestly, let me tell you something. Okay, Elver is so uninteresting. So when you guys are like requesting all these videos with Elver, I'm just like, why? <laughs> he's literally so uninteresting. As soon as, well, he's not so uninteresting, but like as soon as the camera hits him, like he's just blah. And I mean, I guess it makes sense because he's not used to it or whatever. So I will try again. But I just, I gotta wait for stuff that, are, that is interesting to happen to my life, so. Might be a minute. <laughs> so, I'm going back into the palette, and I'm trying to decide what color I want to take. I'm gonna take Girls Night. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna take Girls Night. I'm gonna take Millennial. And I'm taking it on a pencil, a pencil, a pencil brush. This one is by Sigma. This is the E30. That's what we're doing here. Again, let's try to stay in frame. See how it just like blends everything out so seamlessly and it's just like super smoky and then it's just like harsh ass line. I am going to run off camera to apply my mascara and I am going to apply my lashes. Hold on, let me grab them. The lashes that I'm using are the Vegas Nay Lashes by Ilore in Grand Glamour just because I feel like it's appropriate, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to do that off camera. I did just post a video on how I do it so I'll link it down in the description box of course. But just to save us some time, because I know I'm like chatty Cathy up in here, I'm just going to do it on camera. So I'll be right back. So in the Stardust palette, there's actually a matte and a shimmery highlight shade. So if you rather have the matte highlight shade, of course, go for that one. The matte one is on top, and that's called Chandelier. And But I'm going to use the second one, which is called Hashtag Selfie, because that one is the one with the more shimmery consistency and I'm taking a very small brush this one is by equal tools it has no name no number nothing so I don't know it's just by equal tools and of course my lashes are still drying I don't know if you can see that but they're still drying and I'm just gonna pop this right on the inner corner So these are the finished eyes. I really, really like the way that this came out. I especially love the black on the outer corner. You could, of course, skip the black and just make it more of a traditional smoky eye. But you know me, I can't skip it. <laughs> so at this point, we're pretty much almost done with the face. All we have to do is highlight, honestly, right? And I am going to deepen up my contour, the huge. But for my highlight, I am using the most exciting thing in this entire tutorial. These are the new Anastasia, well this is, the new Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters. And I do want to post a review on these, but I kind of just got them. So once I've been using them for a little bit longer, I will be posting a review. So stay tuned for that. But the one I'm using is the color Riviera. So let's just see. Let's pop that. Oh my god. <laughs> and I believe they came out with a brush also. Anastasia Beverly Hills and Norvina and stuff. But, um, holy crap. But I don't think it was available when I bought these, so I am going to pick it up, of course, obviously. Let's be honest with ourselves. Holy. This is a... What is... <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Are you looking at this? I'm not sure if you're looking at this. Okay, so now that I died five times and came back to life, I'm going to move on to my lips. I'm using the NYX Natural Lip Pencil. This isn't as dark as I would have thought. The lipstick I'm using is by Gerard Cosmetics. This is the Hydra, what is it called? Hydra, Hydra Matte. And this is in Serenity, of course. This is the one that Manny MUA made with them. And I've had it for the longest time and I've never used it. So today seems like the right time to do it. So I kind of feel like this lip is a little bit too pink for me. So I'm going to take the Aphrodite liquid lipstick by Gerard and just put it kind of in the center and like kind of blend it together I guess or just right on top literally this highlight threw me off so much I almost forgot to deepen up my contour look at that look at that I did my lips and everything and I'm like ready to go but no I'm not done so I'm gonna go ahead and go into deep contour from the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to use the same little Bare Minerals brush. And I'm just going to kind of put it on the side. Like like that. You know. And I'm just going to deepen up the bottom portion just a, like just a little bit. Because I like it 
to be a little bit more visible than it is once I put my blush on, if that makes any sense. So, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did like it. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. All the information will be linked down below, as well as every product that we use today. And that's all I got to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!